Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot. This is going to be the reading for a sign, the sign of Gemini for the beginning of December, or halfway through December. Thank you for being here. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Click like, comment, share, so I can get these videos out to other people that need them as well. I'm gonna go ahead and start with your reading. Spirit, what do you want Gemini to know? The sign of Gemini. What do you want my gems? my fellow gems to know i am a gemini rising so i'm part of the gem community the diamond and the rust right am i right gemini's <laughs> what do you want gemini to know spirit what do you got for my lovely gems That feels good. I'm going to go ahead and pull. The sun card here. So you can be feeling uh, Leo energy. If you have Leo in your chart. Shining light on the darkness. Shining light on the cobwebs in the corner. Shining light on something we thought was not very attractive. But doesn't seem to be unattractive anymore. Because the light is on it. The light is shining on it. Bottom of the deck energy is five of swords. Maybe you're feeling a lot of um, arguing um, with this past Scorpio season. We had a multiple planets in the sign of Scorpio. So with that being said, we already know Scorpio is ruled by Mars. Mars is the, the planet of cutting and severing and ending and um, war. So that could be why there's a lot of fighting going on kind of um useless fighting bully energy no one really wins um somebody wins but nobody really wins because yeah anyways so maybe that's what's going on in your life and you're just feeling a lot of tension but don't worry we're moving on into sagittarius um i don't want to say sagittarius is going to be a more clear <laughs> thinking type of energy because sagittarius is actually not the best place for for mercury but um, things are moving to a little bit of a softer energy and uh, we will be coming into a Mercury retrograde though so uh, keep that in mind that we're going to be coming in our um, pre-shadow period uh, here soon so remember to take this time to um, reflect um, don't make too many decisions too many plans because you will be canceling them um, and uh, just go with the flow and take a little bit of time to uh, make your space better make your life easier going back and um, uh, just organizing your home again or organizing your routine changing your routine um, it's going to be very beneficial for you guys Gemini Risings because um, Saturn is in your sixth house right now and um, he is kind of pushing you to have a healthier lifestyle and work routine and um yeah so it's gonna be a positive thing for you guys maybe you're planning out your work routine right now um you're changing things so that you're taking better care of yourself before you go to work um so that your energy lasts throughout the day maybe you have uh, a new workout set up that you want to start here soon and and with saturn being in your sixth house it's going to be very very um, easy for you to do that so that was my astrology spiel thank you for staying here with me if you haven't yet please 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 click like please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you can get these readings i'll be doing all kinds soon i'm going to be doing love readings soon i'm probably going to be doing no no doing a no communication reading because i know that those ones are popular um, i'm probably going to be doing money and career and i would really like this channel to grow and these messages to get to people that need them so I can't do that without your help, so please like, please share, please comment, please subscribe if you could. Thank you. So yeah, um, right now you're feeling the sun energy. You could be feeling like um, the light is being shined on the darkness, and that could be with your routine right now. You could be cleaning up your routine, three of cups energy, uh, maybe connecting with people right now, a lot of communication, some get-togethers with the holidays coming up. That makes sense. Um, a lot of unity in your life. Seven of Cups, not knowing what direction to take, actions to take. 
um, so many um, options right now. Knight of Cups energy, so that could mean that somebody is offering something to you, maybe a cup of love, um, but you're not sure about it because this person doesn't seem too grounded. He has the right idea, but not the best foundation. Um, Knight of Cups represents um, water signs, so Pisces, Scorpio, and um, Cancer. So this could be somebody of that significance offering you a cup of love. Just be careful because... It doesn't necessarily mean it's a solid one. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is being frugal with your money. It is holding on your money tight, um, uh, choosing where to, choosing where to um, spend your money very wisely. Uh, just be careful with that card because that can mean that you are also not taking care of yourself. So say you're like, okay, I don't want to spend a lot of money right now. So you don't but you also forget to buy the things that you need so um, don't forget to take care of yourself Gemini six of swords moving past an old mindset something that doesn't serve you an old communication pattern trying to communicate better um, moving to clear waters the Empress here we have um, the card of abundance the card of pregnancy so if you're not looking to get pregnant um, just be careful uh, she is the card of fertility um she's the card of maybe you want to get to a point maybe you're striving to get to a point of financial comfort um enjoying the good things in life and not feeling guilty about it if two of wands here having two different choices maybe you're thinking about two different jobs that you want or you're hoping to be able to have choices on what kind of jobs that you that you want to do rather than what you feel enslaved doing um i was t saying that saturn is in your sixth house well he is in opposition to your 12th house right now and the 12th house um does rule um you know the type of thinking that where you feel like you are enslaved um and because it's in opposition with your house of work um, you may just let old uh, toxic jobs fall off of your lap and you're you're hoping to be able to research you know different positions and jobs elsewhere something that's going to make you happy you know you're going to be able to have choices here um, the world card the end uh, you're you're ending a cycle so it took you a while to get here because you had to learn some things you had to learn certain things in order to move past into your next um, level of mastery is what I'm trying to say. Um, so you're going to take everything that you've learned, all of the decisions you make and, you know, the positive consequences and the negative consequences and anything that you're proud of and that you're not proud of, the people you've met, you're going to be able to take that wisdom and you're going to be moving into the next phase of your life and it's going to be a very positive one. It's going to be no more fighting, no more useless arguments. You're moving past that energy with the Six of Swords here, and it's happening right now. You're moving toward mental maturity. I'm going to get an advice from the tarot card, or from the tarot, or advice card for the, from the tarot for the side of Gemini. What advice do you have for the sign of Gemini? That one wanted to come out like really bad. Ace of Pentacles. Don't be scared to start that new thing that you want to start. Even if you have to start it on the side and you can't afford to quit your job right now. Because that side hustle is going to take you somewhere in the next few years. With the astrology the way it is right now. With everything, you know, you buckling down on taking care of yourself so that you can show up at work better. You're going to be able to show up with yourself with that side hustle or that new job that you really want, or that new beginning financially, you're gonna be able to start that soon. Your finances have finally shifted to something that's going to better you, and it's a brand new start. It's a beautiful start. So grab onto that pinnacle. Grab onto that, you know, ability that you have to start something new, whatever it is. 
So I'm gonna get a crystal oracle card. So maybe you can get yourself a crystal and carry it around with you because I love carrying crystals and I really do see a difference in my energy level and the people around me. I feel less drama. All right, so you've got selenite. Number 21, so maybe that is of significance for you. Maybe in the next 21 months, you'll be doing something for you. Maybe you'll be your own boss, who knows? I'm gonna read about the selenite crystal for you. See what it means. In the ancient world, selenite protected against wanderings of the mind. It invokes mental clarity and divine inspiration, and that's exactly what's going on right now. You're moving into more of a mental um, clarity right now. Spirituality is vital for you. You are a translucent soul who moves fluidly through time uses insights wisely, avoid confusing past with present. You see into people's hearts to what motivates them. That is so Gemini. <laughs> we, sometimes we have, because we are so smart, because we are always having new ideas, um, sometimes we can lose our focus. And um, I feel like if you, you're gonna be, um, having a very stronger spirituality. And you're gonna be able to differentiate past from present. You're gonna be able to see into people's hearts so you can better connect with them. Just remember to not be too manipulated or too eager to please. No people pleasing habits. Stand by what you know. You have the gift of clarity and mental flexibility with the power to make excellent decisions. The situation is unpredictable no matter how solid it appears. Be prepared for challenges and changes. Banish confusion. Clarity is needed. Allow divine light to inspire the future. Let go of something dear to you. Parting does not mean loss of love. Reconciliation is possible. Make the first move. Overheard conversations enlighten you. So you can learn from other people right now. Keep your ears open. Yeah, so I just, I feel like if you pick up one of these, it'll help you to stand firm in your power, stand firm in what it is that you know, help you to stay clear. It's time to let go of something that's not working for you at the moment. So maybe it's that job that I was talking about. Maybe you're going to let go of it soon. I'm going to get a inner peace oracle card for you. Inner peace oracle card for the sign of Gemini. Inner Peace Oracle card for the sign of Gemini, please. Sometimes I feel ridiculous shuffling these cards because they're so big. Alright, so you got number 35. So that is of significance to you. Turn your worry into wonder. Surrender to the experience. What possibilities can you dream into reality? So no more worrying for you. Only wondering for you. And Geminis are the sign that are very curious. So that's a very fitting. So maybe you're going to get back to being curious again instead of worrying. And you're going to be able to manifest what it is that you want into reality. All right, Gemini, I hope that you liked your reading. Like I said before, please, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get notifications for my future readings. And I will see you again soon. Bye.